Hi guys, so today I just wanted to do a brief video on how a shotgun cartridge works and for any of you that haven't seen the inside of a shotgun cartridge before, here you go. Uh, in front of you is a fairly standard 12 gauge or 12 bore um, 24 gram 7.5 shot cartridge, fairly standard clay pigeon shooting load. Um, so just wanted to talk you through very briefly how it uh, goes bang and, and what's inside the uh, the cartridge. So this particular cartridge um, is a plastic case. Um, so you've got your plastic case holding the, the shot at the brass end and then on this end here uh, the silver circle that's your percussion cap or primer and that's where the firing pin will, will strike to, to set off your cartridge. I've cut open a cartridge here for you just to show you what's inside. Um, and there's three main components. You've got your shot, you've got your wadding, and you've got your, your nitro or, or gunpowder. Um, and basically how it works, a firing pin will shoot the, or sorry, strike the percussion cap, the silver percussion cap at this end of the cartridge. It will then um, ignite the nitro here. As the nitro ignites, that will obviously cause a, a rapid build-up of gas which will force the wadding and the shot out of the crimped end of the cartridge here and down the barrel of your gun. Um, and hopefully hit, uh, hit whatever it is that you're, you're aiming at. Now, a um, couple of different things and variations you get on shotgun cartridges. Uh, obviously is the shot size. So this is seven and a half shot. So the larger or the higher the number um, in shot size, the smaller and the more pellets um, that there are. Um, so if you go down to a, a, a four shot or or one or BBSG or a slug, obviously the the, the smaller the number, the the bigger and fewer uh, the pellets that there are. Um, again, this is a fiber wad load. Now. I tried to get a plastic wadded um, cartridge for you, but it turns out I didn't have any um, on me. Um, and the main reason for that really is I tend to pretty much always, where possible, get fireboard cartridges. The reason for that is there are restrictions to certain places you go on what type of cartridge you can use. Um, certain bits of land, certain clay grounds, they don't like the use of plastic wadding. Um, mainly because they get scattered all over the place you know even if I was just to be the only person going down shooting that weekend and I had plastic wood cartridges there'd be 100 150 bits of plastic just chucked about the land um, so not environmentally friendly um, and, and the reason I go for fiber wood is you won't go anywhere where, we, where you can't use a fiber wood cartridge the only real difference is from what I've read, I'm, I'm not a good enough shooter to be able to tell the difference myself, but the only, the only differences that I've read about are that the, the plastic wad, whereas on a fibre the shot sits against the wad and gets pushed out, with a plastic wad it's actually in almost a cup shape and the shot sits with inside the plastic wadding. So as that wad comes down the barrel, it's held neatly in place by the plastic wadding um, and in theory gives you a a better pattern of shot and more consistent so there's less gaps in that pattern where you, your target could potentially uh, get through. As I say I am not good enough to notice the difference at all um, so I always stick with uh, with my fibre wad. But there you go that is really just a very brief overview of what's inside a shotgun cartridge, how it works and what it looks like. I um, hope that was useful for any of you that haven't seen that before. And thanks for watching.